Hi and welcome to FT Insights. I'm Mike Fivas. Let's try a little word association today, okay? The word is Fitbit. Now what sort of words come to mind? Probably fitness tracker, workout coach, running companion. Now if you're a healthcare professional, you probably came up with a very different set of words. Nuisance, unreliable, inaccurate, toy. See, clinicians don't see a place in their world for wearable data. They see a big difference between clinical devices and wearables, which collect data that just isn't accurate enough for their purposes. So that's it then? We'll never see wearables delivering data to healthcare professionals? Not so fast. Check out my two new videos. I just posted them. They're interviews with executives from two startups who are determined to change all that. And it appears they may just have the technology to do it. Now the first is an Israeli company called Cardiac Sense. Now they can generate medical grade heart monitoring using PPG generated by the same pulse oximeter that's in your fitness tracker. After two successful studies uh, with heart arrhythmia patients, the company has been working to get FDA approval. And they're also close to meeting FDA standards for blood pressure measurement. The second company is called Biotricity. <clears throat> the Redwood City startup has built a very compact, portable heart monitoring device using traditional ECG. But they're adding real-time heart monitoring capability and a cloud monitoring service that gives doctors the information they need to make care decisions in real time. The software platform already has FDA approval and the company hopes the hardware will be certified late this summer. The initial hardware will be made available for physicians to prescribe, but Biotricity is also readying an over-the-counter version with an app that will help folks with cardiac conditions monitor themselves and fine-tune their home care. There's a lot of interesting stuff in both of these interviews, so head on over to my YouTube channel and watch them both. And in the meantime, thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.